Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher, and here I am in my basement shop at the granite surface blade here, and we'll do a little inspecting. This is video number 819, entitled Inspecting Angle Plates for Squareness. Now, I hope you watched the previous video, number 818, entitled Grinding Precision Angle Plates, and in that video, Ellie Price did the surface grinding on these two angle plates to a great degree of precision. He already tested them and that is shown, tested them for accuracy, and that is shown in that video that I just mentioned. So I'm not going to bore you with that again, but look at the nice job that he did on these as far as painting and filling holes and then precision grinding on a surface grinder and doing a little jeweling or engine turning here on the edges so these are just beautifully done this is the south bend and this is an unknown brand but i'm going to set these aside now and ellie also made for me and sent to me this inspection gauge that's just a wooden keeper to protect it and here's a sleeve so there's four magnets here that will hold this onto the angle plate. So I'm going to inspect four or five different items that I have in the shop here for accuracy and I'm using a Miller Falls surface gauge with the last word indicator. I, that indicator reads to the thousandth. I was going to use this brown and sharp to the half a thousandth but this is a little heavy for this small base so I'll set that aside, and this is what I'm going to use. All right, let me get this set up. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what this little 4x4x4 four by four by four angle plate does and how accurate it is. It is ground, but it's been banged around for 70 years. It's only milled on the edges, but it's important if you have something that's been uh, beat up a little bit to stone it, either with a stone or a file and then clean it thoroughly and put it on the angle plate. Immediately I can feel a little bit of grit on there so wipe over and over and over. And I did scrub this a little earlier. Now I will put the gauge on there at the right height. Be right back. So here's what I'm doing. This inspection gauge is a total of five inches long the bar is four inches and the base is one inch so to run the indicator all the way out at a five inch distance even if we're a thousandth or so off it is very accurate because the farther out you go the more it amplifies the error so I have already zeroed the indicator out and I'll try to zoom in to show you that and then I'll move it to the other end and see what our reading is. I move it into the center or the high spot here and you can see that the indicator is on zero. Now you may, may be getting a little bit of parallax error. Let me move it out to the far end. Okay, moving it out like that. We'll take a reading right here. And I'm within. Let me zoom in. Wow, that is very accurate. Within a half a thousandth over a almost five inch length. So that is one very accurate and good angle plate that's been banging around in my shop since time immemorial. Let's check another one. I have several tools in the shop made by the well-renowned Taft Pierce Company out of business now. But I'm just showing you that label on the box, but I'm going to use this Taft Pierce angle plate here, which is precision ground, and these came from the great West Clocks factory. And let me set the inspection gauge up on it, and I'll be right back. This should be very accurate because it's a very well-respected company. Note that the indicator is again zeroed out. And I'll move it down to the end of the rod or near the end. And my goodness, that thing is right on. I should be using the other indicator that reads to the half a thousandth or even to the tenth of a thousandth. But 
this angle plate is perfect. I expected it to be, didn't you? Now let's inspect this angle plate that I've had for about 50 years. It's old enough to where it's made in Japan, not Taiwan. But it is not ground. It is machined by a mill, so it's not a precision angle plate by any means. But let's see what it does, shall we? Bring the indicator up right here, and I've already zeroed it out. It's right on. So moving down to the other end here. At this point, it's one and a half thousandths off. Doesn't surprise me because, as I said, it is not precision ground. It's just milled. I take it back. Upon examining this angle plate, I believe that it has been ground, but by uh, a grinder other than a surface grinder. Can you see the marks? And there are some dings on it which throw the accuracy off a little bit. So, But this is shop grade and plenty accurate for 90% of what we do around the average home shop. And I should say that this little surface plate out of black granite came from Grizzly and it is not inspection grade. I don't know what grade it is. I just call it a shop pretty flat surface plate. Not great, but it suits my needs. Here's a big I've had for years and it is a Taft Pierce. Can you read the name there? I think you can. Not in real good shape. It's rusty over here, but I did hit the bottom with that stone. It's clean and flat and let me set that up and we'll see how square they made it. Probably not that critical that it be perpendicular and square, but it could be used in this position also. So I guess there is maybe a need, but it's been hit by a cutter here. I don't think I've ever used this, but we got some damage right here, which will not affect it. All right, let's check out this Taft Pierce. As you can see, it's zeroed out. Now moving to the other end. Wow, amazingly accurate, isn't it? Okay, it's darn near perfect. Matter of fact, I will say it is perfect. Now let's do this for the final item. This is a little precision vise, Chinesium. I've never used it. Came from an auction. Looks to be pretty nice. Wipe it off clean and let's check it on the side. The indicator's on zero. Bring it down to the other end. And it is exactly two thousands off. I'm not surprised. Let's check it on the end of the vise. Okay, look at how it's set up right now. And zooming in on the indicator. And at the end, it's about two thousandths off, the same as it was in the side, so it's consistently off. Still probably plenty good for many, many uses, although not perfect like the Taft Pierce. You know what, I changed my mind. Let's check out and see how accurate these angle plates are by this method. One angle plate ground by Ellie is on the surface plate, the other is clamped as you can see and the bottom jeweled edge is pushed down against the surface plate. So right here I'm going to check it like that and then also lengthwise. So let's see what we got. I'll move in.
it's within four tenths of a thousandth. Amazingly accurate. Now I'll zero it out here. Let me reposition the work. As you can see, I'm on zero. Slide down to the other end. Almost no deviation. Matter of fact, there is no deviation. Or if there is, it's only one or two tenths of a thousand. So, quite accurate. Beautiful job, Ellie. Thank you for that. And thank you people for watching. And I could go on all day here testing different things, but this is, gives you a little idea of what you can do in your shop to test for accuracy without a great deal of expensive equipment. Just a fairly cheap used indicator and a cheap surface plate. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.